EMH electrodes come in different models and shapes. This is one shape. This is the simplest one from the Hana Checker Plus. This is the pointed one, more fancy full, and these are some rather standard models. This is the heart and soul of your pH meter. So you have to take care of that like it is the apple of your eye because the precision of the measurement and the whole function of the pH meter depends on the precision and accuracy of the electrode. What you shall not do with the electrode, for heaven's sake, this is not a serum. Do not use your electrode as a serum. This is a serum. So when you want to prepare your samples, I don't have a, any scales here. I'm just doing it as if there was a scale. Add your sample. Dilute with water. Then, either old fashioned, use a rod, a plastic rod, or a glass rod, and blend your sample. Or, if you are an easy one, so use a magnetic stirrer and let the sample stir to become hum completely homogenized. Then, when you are rinsing your electrode, just go over the electrode with distilled water from all sides. So, okay. For rinsing the electrode, go over the electrode from all sides and all angles. And then gently take a piece of and then take a piece of soft tissue and gently dab it to remove the excess water. Do not rub the electrode as if you are cleaning the nose of a baby. It is sensitive. Just dab the additional water. And when you want to measure the pH, when you want to measure the pH, the pH is actually a, an electric current between the reference electrode and the measuring electrode. They are all combined here. You cannot see them, but when you go into the anatomy of an electrode, you have two electrodes and the current between them is measured as a pulse and you see the number as a pH. I'm a uh, Exchanging the sample with plain water so that you can see what I mean exactly. Imagine this is your sample. When you want to measure the pH, you go with the electrode into the sample. Your electrode shall not touch the bottom of your beaker. Take care of that. Your electrode has must have some space between the electrode and the bottom of the beaker. The old-fashioned version of measurement is that you, you must create a current so that you measure the pH accurately. So either you move the beaker gently so that you create the current for measurement, the electrode is not in contact with the bottom of the beaker. Or if you want to make it more fanciful or easier, you use a magnetic stirrer and put it on low, a distance between the electrode and the magnet, of course, so that the electrode is not disturbed. But then you can create a current that you can measure the pH. For heaven's sake, please do not use your electrode as a steering rod. Use a steering rod or a magnetic stirrer to prepare your samples and to measure the pH. Do not bring the electrode to the bottom of the beaker or measuring vessel, and then you are good with measurement and you can take care of your pH electrode and you will get accurate results.